Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be an Aries weekly money and career reading from February 19th to the 25th, 2024. Aries. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. February 19th to the 25th. 2024. Thank you for being here. I hope you are all well. Be on the lookout on the here out for the magic word. If you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name at the end of the month of February and reveal the name in the live, the last live of February. I do lives every Sunday at 12 noon for anyone that's interested in connecting and joining. If you become a member, not a subscriber, a member, that will give you automatically access to a free question during the live. All right, let's get started, Aries. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Aries Weekly Money and Career, February 19th to the 25th, 2024. Beautiful, Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. You're waiting for money or you're waiting for an offer, that wish, that goal, that dream. There's a wish granted here, so if there's that money you were waiting for, it's coming in. Or that job offer, that business offer, that financial opportunity or business opportunity. There's something coming in, Aries. Here we go. The Magician time. It's time to make it happen. It's time to move forward. It feels like you have everything you need to make it happen whatever this is look at this beautiful lineup magician the chariot ace of cups and eight of cups so wow wow aries this is impressive so whatever it is that offer that you were waiting for that answer that message um, here you are pushing forward, making it happen. It's happening. Um, the power, the determination you've had to make it happen to reach this goal with the chariot, pushing, pushing forward. Um, you might be doing it on your own, actually, but it's something that you really um, thrive for. This is the utter joy of connecting to the right people, connecting to the right job, opening that business, pushing that career forward, the utter joy of working with these people, being with the right, with the right team, being with like-minded people. It is a very, very um, positive. But you have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, well, but, I'm not even saying but, the Eight of Cups just symbolizes leaving, having to leave, or moving on. Moving on or having to leave something emotional behind. Really going on a new adventure, uh, a new job, a new career, a whole new path in front of you, leaving a lot behind. When I say a lot, a lot of emotions behind. But it's so powerful what you've manifested. It's so powerful what you want here with this nine of cups yes probably something you haven't discussed much following your intuition opening up to new skills to new connections new people providing you skills or taking classes or 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 talking to people for knowledge you're opening up your horizons here but you're leaving something behind wow Yes, three of wands, expanding. You know what this is, Aries. You know what this is. Three of wands, you're ready. You're prepared. This is the moment you were waiting for. Wow, this is impressive. All these readings 
are extremely impressive here um, uh, this week, right? And and this Three of Wands with this complete clear vision, uh, getting out of your comfort zone, planning, expanding, um, you now know what to do, right? This is really the moment where you're expanding your business, you're going international, you're moving, um, you're moving to another country, you're moving to another city, you're joining a group of people or joining a company, like-minded people to expand your business, to expand your knowledge. It's very powerful, it's very ambitious. Uh, Knight of Wands, here you are, Aries, you're excited. You're excited to push forward. You have all, well, I want to say you're, this is, these are very, very positive energies and very, very powerful energies. I, I feel like you are, um, proving, sorry, I feel like you're proving to the world um, what you stand for, what your experience is, and, um, almost like delighted to jump in to a new experience. Clear on your choices. One, two, three, four. Major Arcana, but also, you know, this Nine of Cups, this Ace of, two Aces, lining up to something that you thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy, but also, also this, this, um, sense of power that you have pushing forward, excited. I, I think that, <laughs> I, I think that you are so, it's not, the word is not proud. It's, um, you know, you're good. There you go, Aries. That Aries arrogance, not in a bad way, but you know what I mean, Aries, that, that power you have of, uh, you know, just, um, being there and being the one that leads the way, that decision maker, that leader, um, you know what this is. Now, this amazing push forward in your career is also a whole new adventure. You're leaving a lot behind. You're leaving maybe people behind or emotions behind or a past career or your your home or something like that. Uh, but my oh my is this ever so powerful. It, it's yes, it feel maybe you're traveling, uh, maybe you're moving, you know, to another country with this three of wands. Um, but you are very clear and, and you it's it's like, you know, you know what you have to do. And you're doing it in a really um, ambitious way, Aries. It's <laughs> it's making me laugh. I don't know why. It's really the desire uh, to push forward in a in a very important mission or task or job or career move. It's a big career move. It feels like a bold career move. And it feels like, yes, with this Knight of Wands, it feels like you want to impress, impress the world, impress your, the company, impress your business environment, whatever it is. Um, you're, I feel like you're traveling or you're no matter what you're impressing others with your skills and your knowledge um i feel like there's a move or a travel this is very enthusiastic energies it really reflects a new project that you're very passionate about a new project at um uh, where you're going to take more responsibilities even more responsibilities uh, if not, you're, you know, you're really very enthusiastic and 
don't want anything. It's like there's no time to waste. You don't want to waste any time. Power, power, push through. Major, major project here. Major task, major new business or I don't know what it is, but my, oh my. But it, yeah, it's a whole new adventure with this Eight of Cups. But you, again, I feel the, there's only one card here that is a sense of having to leave people or emotions behind, leaving a whole lot behind. But it's so powerful that you're not even, you're not even questioning this. This is a whole new opportunity that you have right, with this offer here, uh, or the money coming in, or, you know, whatever this opportunity is, it's just such a powerful energy forward. Uh, maybe you're waiting for this, right? Maybe you're waiting for this to fall in your lap to get here, and, and uh, you're utilizing all the energies you have to move forward. Even if it takes massive effort, this is the ambition of a lifetime, really. My oh my. All right. Yes, it's all new and very enthusiastic for sure. Uh, all new to build. And yeah, it, it feels like you're part of a project. You're part of a job. You're part of a company. Uh, ambitious, however ambitious it can be, it is. Um, yeah, you believe, you believe in this. And, oh, okay. It feels like you are with this star card. It feels like, now, the star is believing, healing, soothing, soothing energies, um, and moving into calmer waters. But for me here, uh, the star is not that. The star is you with twinkles in your eyes, right? Stars in your eyes at how amazed you are in this project or the people you're working with. Um, you feel like you impress others, but others are also impressing you. Um, it's all about, <laughs> that one's all about ego, but in a, in a powerful way, this is a beautiful new adventure for you. Um, be careful not to be too up in the stars, you know, and to remain in reality. It's, it feels like it's a dream, a dream come true, but also a lot of dream going on, if that makes sense. A lot of uh, dreamers, maybe, uh, maybe ego, ego people leaving, living in their dream. Maybe it's that, but you're really connecting to something pretty amazing. So, if there are dreamers along the way, that's fine. <laughs> uh, that's okay. You're maybe you're going back to something you really enjoyed, or uh, back to that dream that you have wanted for such a long time. Something that is making you blossom and a creation or an inspiration and and it's really the future of your career you're protecting your career you're very protective of this um and uh yes it feels like a very creative entourage if that makes sense professional team uh whatever it is you're making happen uh is is maybe you're writing something Maybe you're part of a writer's team, or maybe you're part of a very creative project, or maybe it's a product you're making, or maybe this is a, a new business that's starting, a new company that's starting, or you are hired in a major company. Uh, movies, maybe? Maybe you're, maybe you're writing, or maybe you're producing, um, producing videos or movies, or right? It feels like there's a lot of ego there. It feels like there's a lot of, um, of power, a power of creativity, but power all around, ambition and money. Wow, I don't know who I'm reading for, <laughs> but it's very powerful, Aries. Let me know what this is all about. Pretty impressive. If... <laughs> yes, the star card for me is a lot of twinkle around there. A lot of, a lot of, um, uh, 
I wouldn't say fake, but a lot of glit glitz and glamour. And sometimes it's important to ground our energies to be able to push forward. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, the daily, the daily grind there. Having to fight your way through. Yes, because this is, this is a company or a group of people or a project that, you know, that's competitive. And uh, it's important to find your space, to find your position. Uh, it's a powerful position for everyone all around. And um, uh, I think those are the day-to-day -day conflicts or the day-to-day -day, um, sort of the day-to-day -day wiggle wiggle room or wiggling around to make sure you you're in your space in your power all right let's see if there are a couple more cards <laughs> aries you always have these readings that are so um powerful and i i love love the energy of believing in yourself in always trusting your ambition your mindset your goals your powers and you know even if you doubt yourself you're you're not one to show it right you will push through no matter what fake it till you make it really fake it till you make it but i'm not saying this is fake i'm just saying this is a very glitzy glamorous or very show-off environment but it's what you want it's your empowerment it's your determination and it's very clear that this is something that is expanding your business expanding your job uh giving you more leadership more leeway um you're almost like reinventing your career and you're going to be able to work with people either internationally or in other you know in other ways it's really expanding your career all right let's see what's going on yes com competitive stressful well that goes with the territory motivated there you are, Aries, going from the page to the queen, highly motivated, highly confident, yes, um, taking power, you're the one ruling, you're going to get what you want, that's the way the queen of wands is, she gets what she wants, she gets the job done though, right, so yes, they're dreams, and yes, they're, but also there's a lot of ambition, and you know, it's really about turning dreams into reality or turning ideas into reality. Uh, that's who she is. She's in command, highly motivated, but at the same time gets the job done. Death card, not surprising because you're really leaving something behind and, and moving forward into something that makes more sense to you uh, because you're probably leaving i mean it's a big change so even if it seems um fantastical or you know fun and ambitious and um something that is uh almost like magical uh because there's a lot of lot going on here um it's also a big big change a big transition in your career in your life maybe even with this eight of cups because this transition is really pushing you towards your new chapter this is all new uh much more important much more beneficial for you um and it's really the capacity of leaving the past behind leaving whatever was not for you anymore behind but that doesn't mean it's simple and that doesn't mean that whatever you put behind is behind and that's fine and you know it's not for you anymore and then just push forward and have fun no things are not easy and it's stressful and you have to hang tight but um this is a whole new opportunity so this is a rebirth that's operating here this is transformation in your life and really detaching yourself right from emotions 
from past emotions, maybe from past habits, from people, from situations and energy. So it's really the capacity also to detach yourself from what you had before. But what you had before was sort of blocking you or, you know, obstructing your um, career path, obstructing your success. And I feel like now you understand that this is going to make you grow again. So whatever was preventing you from having success, maybe, or in your mind, in your mind, whatever you feel was preventing you from having your success or making more money or making the right connections or or reaching that job you wanted so much or growing your business, right, to be more successful, here you are, here you are, it's happening. Um, accomplishing so much more, growing so much more. It's not that you're denying your past or it's not that it's not existing anymore. It's that you know this is the power you need to succeed. And this is the moment where you have to step up your game that no matter what, you might not get this chance two times. This is the moment you were waiting for. So you have to cease the moment, cease the energy to really step into that next game, step into that next level. It's impressive. It's impressive. Temperance, allow it, process it, Take your time to make decisions. Don't rush it if it's not rushed. Don't push it if it's not pushed. Don't impose it if it's not time. Allow the energies to come in. All decisions with moderation, with balance, with stability, and then moving forward step by step allow it all to come in yes take your time take your time once it's here take your time aries you will build you will evolve you will step in to that next level don't push it five of cups that disappointment not going fast enough weren't in the right place at the right moment to develop your business, to get that promotion, to, you know, to make more money. Money, money, money. <laughs> there we go. And the world. There you go. You got this. You got this. But it's a huge transformation. And it's also you um, really uh, grasping, taking all this and making it yours in the right pace, in the right rhythm. The power is there, the money is there, the ambition is there, the amazing, I don't know what it is, environment is there, the glitz and glam, or whatever it is you're looking for, right? When I say glitz and glam, it doesn't mean everybody is glitz and glam and everybody's gonna go to Hollywood and any everyone's gonna be, no. Whatever it represents for you, whatever that, Holy Grail represents for you, this is it. Whatever that place, that job, that project, that community, uh, that, yeah, really where you want to be. Whatever that represents for you, whatever that vision is for you, and that feeling of empowerment, being in the right place with your ambition and your success, what does that represent for you, Aries? It will be different for each and every one. But job well done because you're completing a cycle. My, you have the death card and the world card. So yes, it's pushing everything behind. It's almost like a new life, a new cycle, a new chapter. It is. You're leaving a lot behind, but it's, it's so, I mean, it's so powerful that how could you not move into this next chapter? I think this deception and this stress is also 
um, it's very alluring, right? This It's almost like there's a door that's opening that's full of gold, and it's a, just an image. Uh, how can you not go, right? So, but what I mean is just make sure you're mindful, you know what everything is. I'm not saying there's any deception there, but there's the star here just to say, just know and take your time. Take your time to maneuver, to connect, and to open door by door. Don't rush your way in. The power is there. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Aries, weekly, money and career, February 15th to the 29th. 25th, sorry, 19th to the 25th. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. See, February 19th to the 25th, sorry about that, 2024. Aries, one last message for the road on this extraordinary new adventure. I mean, I feel like there's at least three or four signs. There was Virgo as well. There was a mind-blowing reading. Uh, Libra as well, I believe. Or no, it was Capricorn. Capricorn, um, I don't even remember, but there are three or four signs that are so, so powerful this week. So, so powerful. Eight of Swords. Well, you're getting out of that. There's the devil. Not surprised. There's the devil putting it right in the middle. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, working really hard. Um, and 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 there's the Nine of Pentacles also. That money, right? That money coming in. It's feeling comfortable with your choice, feeling comfortable financially, uh, abundant, abundance, because if you see there's not that many pentacles up to now, there are no pentacles, right? It's just about power and ambition. We haven't seen the pentacles yet. Well, here are some pentacles, right? Enough to say that you're independent, you're comfortable with your choice, you're comfortable with where you stand, you're happy, you're happy where you stand. Passion. Be careful not to get your wings burned, right? Just put it that way with the devil. But get, be careful. Take your time and take your time to analyze everything, to see what's going on, to see who the people are, and make your decisions accordingly. Powerful, powerful change. Make sure you take your time. Wow. Aries. All right, let's see. Uh, it's so powerful, Aries. It's almost like temptation, right? Temptation. I want to say temptation, but you know what? I um, but you're mastering this temptation, right? You you're you're going to be mindful and take your time and, and not um, not rush into it. So, I wanna say, in ambition, I'm just gonna leave it at ambition if you wish to add more words, please add your own words. But the magic word here is going to be ambition. If you wish to put your name on the list for a free reading, add the word ambition down below. And of course, feel free to add other words that you connect with in this amazing reading. The power of ambition. There you go. The power of ambition. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Have a great week, Aries. Thank you to each and every one from the bottom of my heart. Take care. Bye-bye.